Chicky Domain, aka Debuddebud.com, with your Debud.com video surf forecast update. This surf forecast update brought to you by Salt Life Food Shack with two locations, Jacksonville Beach and Coral Springs. Coming soon, Stewart and St. Augustine. Get shacked at the shack. Salt Life Food Shack. Wanted to start this segment off with what we were looking at last week. This is an image that we captured on June 8th. And as you can see, there were balls of convection over the African continent. And these balls of convection were moving towards the intertropical convergence zone. And as we took a look at the next image, again, captured on June 8th, this is what it looked like off the coast. And uh, we like to call this type of setup the boxcar sally setup and as you can see high pressure just to the west of the cape verde islands here now i wanted to show you the difference between what a week makes and what the tropical forecast is looking like right now this is today's image and in this image here you can see that the saharan dust layer or the saharan mean layer air pattern has set up in here. It's clearly visible in the GOES satellite imagery. And what this is going to do is this is going to suppress any tropical activity. This is a bunch of hot, dry air coming in off the Saharan Desert, and it's coming off over here into the Atlantic, and it's suppressing any type of convection in here. So it looks like we may go into a two-week period where there's just basically no tropical or chance for tropical development. High pressure is forecast to be up here in the northwest Atlantic and turn into what looks like a blocking high. Uh, models are forecasting this high pressure to develop, sit here, become stationary, and it's just going to continue to pump this hot, dry, dusty air in through here. When we look forward over to the the emustat you can clearly see it it's defined in here as well all the convection in here is now null and void can't have tropical development without convection and as we look at the university of wisconsin's uh, air mean layer for the Sahara, you can see that this stretches all the way across from the coast of west coast of Africa all the way in here to the islands. So anything that is traveling in through here to the intertropical convergence zone, this is basically what we call sucking it dry. And this is sucking everything dry in here. So um, looks like that summertime pattern is setting up, guys. I hope, uh, hope everybody's ready to carry on with some other activities. Here's a look at what is the only game in town. It's this tropical wave we've been tracking for the last several days. It's now moving through here just south of Hispaniola on its way towards Central America. And as you can see, there's some convection firing up off Central America in here out ahead of the tropical wave. But wind shear coming off Honduras towards the eastern tip of Cuba is running out of the southwest at about 50 knots. So as this gets closer to that, it's just going to get really to shreds. Models were hinting that uh, part of this would make it into the Bay of Campeche and possibly develop uh, a, a tropical system. Um, they backed off since that, um, so there's really no chance for any tropical development, looks like, for the next two weeks. As far as some surf is concerned, uh, we start looking at surf. Um, very interesting, last night the winds rotated more quickly out of the east off the northeast Florida coast behind the front and we still have some 10 second groundswell periods forecast over the next two days and there could be some chunks on how this high pressure moved off last night uh, behind the front um, so hopefully we'll see the winds increased a, a little bit on the grace reef buoy and saint augustine buoy i think the saint augustine buoy was showing east winds 15 to 20 knots in here so hopefully this will get the return flow pattern out of the southeast which you're primarily swell coming uh, north of Puerto Rico into the Bahamas is a southeast swell. The only negative is is that the uh, I believe it's the South Bermuda buoy and the East Bahama buoy had a lot of south winds on it this morning. So uh, we're going to be watching us through the rest of the day, but could be some chunks coming in late tomorrow into Monday. So stay tuned to the forecast.